hot. It is very hot out there. It probably doesn't help that I didn't turn on my air conditioner yet. But that's not why I'm sweating. No, 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 no. I'm sweating because I ended up getting something and it's probably even hotter than me. Ew. Let me, <laughs> let me uh, rephrase that later. Trust me, you'll know more about it tomorrow, but... Yo, bros, this is we to play the Print and Brush Tricks of YouTube. It's time to try out another demo. And this is one that's been lingering on my Switch for a long, long time and taking up so much, sp so much space. Can't talk. Listen, I was going to play some other game that recently got a demo. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> No! How long is it going to take? How long is it going to take? Please? Can you, can you go to 1%? <laughs> okay. Number's going down. Just, just go to 1. There we go. It doesn't say 1%, but that's, that's basically 1%. Okay, well, story time, I guess. So, I end up getting something very special. That's your only hint. You can't see it on camera. That's somewhat intentional. But, I guess it just looks like I'm gonna have to wait for this silly thing to download. I was going to play a different demo on Wednesday. But, because I had this planned on playing, I planned on playing, I didn't think I was going to have enough demo, <laughs> enough space for the demo, you know what, I'm going to change shirts, actually cool down, and we'll come back, and we'll try this one again, so I'll catch you in a flash. Okay, I've had more than enough time to cool down, let's get this game started. After the loading screen. So, yo bros, we to play. You already knew that. Friends, fans, fam. Square Enix. Of course, it's Square. Presents. I guess we're going to have to wait on the title. Heck, maybe I should even bring up the full screen. Okay. 
Wrong button. Welcome to Dragon Quest Eleven. Yeah, I had to look that up. <laughs> Dragon Quest Eleven: Echoes of the Elusive Age S. Definitive Edition. Demo. Don't take that any longer. But I'm gonna be trying my first Dragon Quest game today. At this point, I feel like I gotta play at least one game of every single series that shows up in Super Smash Bros. Why do you think I purchased Minecraft, huh? Why? Alright, let's get going, Mario Kid Gamers playing Dark Souls, I think. So that's great. Alright, so... I'm gonna make this quick. I'm gonna put it in caps because I don't care. Oops. There we go. Am I happy? Yes. <laughs> ah, so it could switch between 3D mode and 2D mode on the fly. Well, guess what? I kind of want to make it look nice. But hey, tell me if you prefer 2D or 3D. So why not begin by adjusting the various systems to your liking? You can change these at any time on your adventure, just like the 3D and 2D. Thing. Which language? English? How do you want the camera to work during your adventure? Uh, let's see. You know what? I'll kick pick on Mac for now. Just to make it look more scenic, I guess. Uh, I feel like the brightness is fine. Adventure log successfully created. You will be able to pl continue playing this adventure in the retail version. If I get interested enough. Question myself on that one. Okay, it's no longer cute. Pretty sure it caused the rain. Great. This child. There's the mark. It's like I'm watching a movie. There's no mistaking it. Sorry, I just saw. Uh... Ow. That is late.
locked in, she. Gosh dang it. Hey, it looks pretty now. Oh. Oh, she dropped the cradle. Oh, oh my. What in heavens are you doing here? And after that awful storm, too. However did you survive? Oh, you're a jolly one. What's this? Oh, you poor thing. Come here. Come here. Oh, there's no need to be frightened anymore. You're safe now, little fellow. Aw, oh, that was nice. I like him. By the way, I thought about Croc when I watched that cutscene. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to put that out there. I was thinking of Croc when I was watching that cutscene. Several years later. A hero has grown up. That tree is far away. Thanks so much, you're a lifesaver. What? That cannot be the voice acting. Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. Okay, that might be a little bit better. Although, since this isn't a cutscene, I guess I can just... <sighs> so it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. <laughs> Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. Come on, best not keep her waiting. I was gonna joke about the protagonist <laughs> not talking at all, but then she started talking and I... I couldn't take anything seriously. Oh, right, I need to bring up the full screen. Woof, woof, woof. Perfect. Mind how you go, you hear? You know, the mayor and your mother are waiting to see you off at the top of the steps, don't you? Don't keep them waiting, dear. Oh, and remember, if you're ever in need of some advice or you're stuck for what to do, have a chat with folks with pretty pink speech bubbles. Above their head like me. Just press Y and look at the map. You can't miss us. While you're looking at the map, press R to change the direction you're facing. It's a handy little tip. Trust me. Awesome. Let's go. Looks like there's a couple of people to talk to. Clinton, seeing you and my dear Gemma all set for your big day makes me proud as anything, both as a mayor and a grandfather. Maybe I should have called him hero. You're not kids anymore, you know. No, you're grown up now. And that means going to the tour and offering your thanks. Now it's time for you to be on your way. Head to the top, give praise to the spirit of the land, and come back down and tell us how you like the view. Oh, and if you're ever unsure what to do next, press X and select party talk. Kimma might have some useful tips here. For you, how does she now? Brilliant! It's our big day, Brinton. We finally get to go and do the ceremony. Not sure I'm doing the right voice right. We're going to be grown-ups at least. <laughs> Last. <laughs> it looks like Sandy's as excited as we are. Come on, let's get moving. We don't want her to get to the top of us. I almost feel bad doing that voice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow! 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 What happened? Whoa! 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 What happened? 
I swear I lost complete control for a moment. Like, I was not trying to do that. I don't know what happened. Maybe I pressed down the L stick? Hmm, look at that. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on Cobblestone Tour, you see. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Come on, then. That craggy old thing won't climb its... Oh! What is it, boy? Did Timmy fall down the well? Oh, no, slimes! Ah! Monsters! The worst thing we could They're have... coming this way! ...came across. The group of slimes draws near. Watch out! Oh, don't be careful, you two! Go on! Oh, wow, that didn't even take out the first slime. Are you attacking the dog? Are you for real? Fight, fight, and fight some more! Get him! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> you can do it! Go out of here! Frozen in fear! The yeah. slimes were defeated. Or are defeated. Winton acquired six experience points and six gold, and the slime dropped the treasure chest almost on my head. The medical herb! has been added to my inventory. Crikey! I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going. Okay, she's warming up on me. It's just the first line delivered didn't exactly uh, fill me with hope. A big scary cave that almost started to show up for a moment. Ow. Actually not as scary as I thought it would be. Hold up. Hold up. Um, how do you expect me to do this? Okay. Maybe it just happens on that. Yeah, I think I'm fine. This isn't monkey. I don't have to balance completely. Monsters! But I don't think they've spied you yet. You should sneak up and try to surprise them. Get close enough to a monster and a small orange arrow will appear just above them. Press A and you'll give them a mighty wallop with your weapon. A weighty wallop. Lowering their HP before the battle has even begun. Why not try springing a pre imit attack on the slime? I mean, it's looking this way. Jump button! Gosh dang it! Okay. Get him! Alright, I got 16 HP. Fight, HPs. fight, and fight some more! Jump button! There yeah. we go. Okay, let's try that one again. Slower. Slow. Oh. 
Well, at least I did that time. I guess it doesn't matter if they see me or not. Get him! Yeah, once I press the button in time. Then Go that's on! Like you back. can do it! Go on! Slimes were defeated. Huzzah! There we go. Come back here, Sandy. We're not quite done yet. Get in! <laughs> go on! You can do it! I like that I'm not go really on. doing anything else except for just attack. But this is just the fight, very Fight, fight, and fight some more! Get in! You. I'm so crazy. proud of you! My level has increased to level 2! Huzzah! I've learned Frizz! Slime dropped the slime drop. Alright then. I mean, I don't expect myself to actually fall into the water there. Oh, see me. What was that? Going. Go on! You can do also it! Also kind of freaks me out because they basically are. Get him! So not. I fight, fight, and okay. fight some more! Go on! Hope you guys don't mind that she keeps talking during these fights. That's not something I'm usually used to. Where'd she go? Okay, then. Oh, there she is. Phew! I can't believe there are monsters on the tour, and on a big day, too! Nope, that was wrong. It's a little worrying, but we have to push on. At least I've got you as a bodyguard, Benton. Follow the dog. Let's not go down the path that I'm not supposed to. Not yet, anyways. Oh, hello. Chunk of copper ore. Nice. I'm just gonna rush past him. We're not gonna fight every single enemy. I know this is an RPG and I need to grind, but this is also a demo, and I don't think they're gonna spill too much. At me right away. Maybe. Cool. Look at all this fog. Uh, is this normal, do you think? I'm starting to second guess myself. Mid boss Help! at the day. Help me! <gasps> what? Cole? Oh, ah! oh Cole! Ah! Get Quick! Out of there, you Cole! have to help him! Good gravy! <laughs> it's not fog at all! It's more monsters! I'm at level two, so I have like maybe a chance. <laughs> I haven't looked at tactics. Help me. Guns! Alright, try that one again. Get him! Oh, damn! Alright, this isn't exactly good. Go on! You All can right, do it! It's frozen. So, 
we're going to attack B. Attack B! Don't give up! That works too. Oh, hey, thank you. I absolutely Get him. need that. Most useful party member, and I can't keep him. Fight, fight, and fight some more! I think we are okay. Oh my yikes! Let's see. Cobblestone. Well, I don't have any healing. Awesome. What about equipment? The 11, yes, that's what I needed to do. Thank goodness that hit. I almost lost. Well done. Yay! I didn't die, by the way. I, I'm sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. But then those monsters appeared. What in the world is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. But never mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed. You take Sandy and get back to the village this instant. No, Sandy's helping. Y yes, Gemma. Sorry, Gemma. <laughs> no! Sandy was the best one in the You team. saved my bacon again. <laughs> I, mean, give I a knew you were tough, yourself. but crikey, you really have grown into quite the hero. Not far to the top now. Oh good, it's raining again. Oh, typical. It would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Come on, let's get a move on. I want to technically stop once I get to the top. What is this? Just these vines to climb and you'll nearly be there. Don't go losing your grip. Well, uh... Oh, no. That's not quite what It's just a thought, but... I've never seen monsters at scale before, but you didn't seem to break a sweat. You're amazing, Brinton! Make sure we stay on the right path. Let's look out for signposts. We wouldn't want to go the wrong way and take a tumble. Okay, I thought Minus was gonna pull up a different menu. Oh, here we go. Hopefully I don't fall down and die. Good save all signposts now. This way to the top, watch your step. let the camera do its own thing since it's on me. You don't have to make it. But there's a part of me that's probably used to doing that. Don't look for it now. Close to the cliffs and don't let your nerves get the better of you. Just go up to a place I want to climb and then press the A button. To learn how to jump. There we go. Hopefully, there aren't any scary monsters on the way. Maybe at the top, but not on the way. Here we are at last. Oh. It's such a shame about the weather. I was really looking forward to that view. Well, we better say the prayer and get this ceremony over with, eh? What? What was that? Oh, 
We uh find it somewhere on the ground. Oh, that was great. We're alive. But how? That that great big flash of lightning. It was almost like you made it happen. can worry about that later. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. Now, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. Humble folk of Cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home, lift your voices up in prayer, sing it across all our drear. Blessed are we since days of yore. Let it be so forevermore. Yay. Perfect timing. Now we can take <gasps> you. Wow! Look! <laughs> it just goes on and on and on. Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind. They wanted to show us how huge our world really is. <laughs> well, that's it. It's all over and now we're grown-ups. Should we head down and tell Grandad and everyone? They'll all be waiting for us at the bottom. Nice. Taking it one more time. And maybe talk about it. Oh, heck. Thank you, Brenton. I really thought we were done for there. I don't know what I would have done without you. It's very worrying, isn't it? The monsters, the lightning. We better get back to Cobblestone. And maybe Granddad knows what's going on. Maybe. Something tells me it's gonna be a bit. Uh... <laughs> Brenton and Kemma made their way back to the bomb of the Torah. <laughs> By the way, I need to remember the name of the location. You said it once. Uh, and I'm probably gonna mispronounce it soon. Oof, oof. Thanks for bringing Cole back safely, Sandy. Good girl. I know I knew you could do it. Well, the main thing is that everyone's all right. You can never be too careful with monsters around. We owe you one, Brenton. And Gimma and Sandy, too. Thanks. Anyone else? So you did it. You've been to the top of the tour. Well, you better let the mayor know. Everyone will be desperate to hear how you got on up there. Don't keep them waiting, will you? I feel like I said something completely different. When the lightning struck the Torah, I must confess I feared for your safety, but it seems that you have escaped unharmed. Truly, we must give thanks to the spirit of the land who watches over us all. Ooh, it's definitely this spirit. It definitely had nothing to do with me. I'm not going to talk to everyone. Well done, you two! Alright, oh, thank goodness you're safe! We're back safe and sound, Grandad! 
Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> Well, I never. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Well, there's no doubt about it. The spirit of the land was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear, how was the view from the top? Oh, it was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon and the sunlight playing on the water and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. You're still young, and the day may yet come when you decide to leave cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. Now, it's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. Come on, you. Home time. Right stick to change which way you're facing when the map is open, which can be helpful in figuring out where to go. That's about all I got there. Boy, there's a lot of scenic cutscenes. Coming of age, a word for this ascending to the top of cobblestone tour and completing the ceremony that signifies the onset of adulthood. Welcome back. So the ceremony's all done? Congratulations. Now don't tell me you have forgotten where you lived in all this excitement. Just follow the paving stones. You'll soon find your way back. Oh, and you must be tired to be forgetting that. You should head home and put your feet up. Yeah, I should. I've done a good job today. <laughs> well, we got a long way to go, though. So, I'm guessing it's not that place. It's right here, of course. You did well, both of you. You're not children anymore. You're grown-ups. Welcome to the club. My hero, Brinton, you saved my little boy. I'm so glad you and Gimma got back safely. I don't, I don't think this is right. They said to follow the cobblestone path. It's Sorry, Sandy, I didn't see you there. Perspectives now. I'm almost there. Oh, here's my little soldier. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you, all grown up. I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster. Try to act more surprised, Mother. What did you say? That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. 
Here I was hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. Wow, okay. Well, we've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. Oh no, not about the birds and the bees. Please, not that one. Oh, I can hold the skip. Nice. Here. This belongs to you. Mm, I like it. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. The truth is... There's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um... Well... He said you're... You're what? You're what? Can we tone down on the heroic music? I don't think this is the time for it. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary! Thank you. What? Oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. He said that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Crikey. Yeah, that was quick. <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. <laughs> Nothing like food to lighten the mood. The reincarnation of the luminary. Stop telling me to skip. I'm not going to skip. Brinton tries his hardest to sleep, but he's too confused by everything he's learned and excited about his coming trip. Eventually. Eventually. Okay. Having trouble sleeping, are we? Well, it's no surprise after all the excitement today and your big news. Whenever I have trouble nodding off, I like to go for a little walk. The night air always does me a power of good. Okay, I guess we're gonna go for a walk outside in the dark. Or I can just climb this ladder. Sure. I thought we were walking. What are we gonna do? Jump out the window and then walk? Is there any reason for me to be here? Like any at all? There was an exclamation mark there, so I thought, hey, I guess I need to go up here. I don't know why I need to go up here, but it says I need to go up here. Well, no. No, I don't. I don't need to go up there. Stop telling me I need to go up there. Where is the tank door? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, jeez, it got darker all of a sudden. Alright, where are we going that may or may not affect my destiny? Down here? This looks like a good place to go. What is this? Nope, can't go in there. Doors locked up tight. Probably for good reason. So, yeah, not there. Let's see. <laughs> no, that's the camera. I don't want to do that. Is it the purple dot I'm going towards? Purple dot? Yeah, there it is. A curious power emanates from the root. Root wrapped around the tree. Oh, I thought I was talking to her. No, talking to her. Thank you. Oh, can't sleep either, eh? You remember this tree, don't you? I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. 
there I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? You know, I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. <sighs> I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the luminary appeared and saved the day. When it was all over, the luminary turned into a star. And he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. Gino? Is it Gino? I, I gotta stop. I gotta stop with those jokes. That's his star. Right there. He's the only darn oh. star in the sky right now. How can you be the luminary too? I, I just don't get it. So I'm gonna turn into a freaking star? I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand. Really, I do. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Goodbye, old friend. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Well, gonna be a big day. Exhausted after his long day, Brenton finally falls into a restless slumber. I don't know how. Now you got more weighing on your mind. My mind, technically. Then, morning comes. <laughs> that sounds familiar. <laughs> so, I look like a hero now. Well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. You won't forget him, will you? Never. He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I've popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. Yes, mother. Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to leave, you know, dim O. It says it right there. This is not the full game. And I'm not sure how to save. That could be a problem. Hopefully it's automatically saving, otherwise I'm gonna be very sad when I get back to this game. But I'd say this is a great place to stop off. I don't know how much more the demo is actually left. We'll find out in the next episode. Till that episode, this has been We To Play. I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Take care out there, and I will catch ya later.